So the iPhone 15 Pro has been out for a little bit of time now, and this is probably the best iPhone that you can actually go ahead and pick up. It's a very solid iPhone, has so much capability and so much level of performance to it that I love so much. But I will tell you, there's an iPhone that is probably better than the iPhone 15 Pro that I would probably recommend a vast majority of people to actually go ahead and pick up. And this is actually the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I personally do feel like the iPhone 14 Pro Max is easily one of the best iPhones Apple has ever made, and I still think this particular device is completely worth buying, as many of you probably already know. It's a very, very good iPhone. Now, the first thing I definitely tell you about the 14 Pro Max is that this particular iPhone, the display on this thing, is so massive, it's so good, and it rivals the iPhone you know, 15 Pro. I mean, this thing, that 6.7 inch display, 2000 nits of brightness, very high resolution, and it's 120 hertz as well. That is such a solid level of, you know, playing capability that you have on this type of device. And that makes me so happy every time I go ahead and open this, you know, you ever use this phone, because it has so much capability from that specific perspective, which is honestly so amazing. Now, another thing that I love about the 14 Pro Max is that the performance level of this particular device is still very good. Like you are still getting an exceptionally great performing phone from this thing, which is very good. It's not like you're getting down, it's not like you're getting like a watered down performance on this particular phone like you're getting a very solid performing phone from this thing which is very awesome that apple a16 bionic chip inside of this thing was very good and that was something that i really did appreciate a lot from this type of device now one of my favorite things about the whole entire 14 series were the cameras i think apple did a very good job with the camera system of these phones so much so in fact that I still think in this day and age, if you're using something like the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you are going to be getting one of the best cameras still available on an iPhone. This thing has the standard triple camera setup that you have in the back, but the level of you know capability behind this camera, in my opinion, is still so good that it only makes sense for me to recommend people to buy this phone if you're still wanting an iPhone that has a very good camera. So that's another very, very important thing to keep in mind here too with this particular phone. On top of that, I will still say, if you're wanting a phone that is going to have a long future ahead of it, long software support, long pretty much everything ahead of it, this phone is still going to be here. This phone is not going anywhere anytime soon, and that's just one of the best things going on for this particular phone, and that's why I love this phone so much, is because I can recommend this phone year over year over year, and it's still going to be here. The only issue I have with this phone maybe is that it's not available in the brand new market anymore, so you have to pretty much go through the certified refurbished market or used market in order to actually use and you know buy this phone. But other than that, I still think this is one of the best phones you can buy. I still think it's a very solid device, and I'll 100% recommend pretty much the average person to go ahead and buy this device. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.